Okay, quick valuation on 6650 Estes Street. Um, so this one has a lot of potential. First of all, it's on a huge lot. It's uh, almost 2,000 square feet. The house itself is 2,400 square feet. I don't have any video. I will have video soon enough. But uh, actually, let me get out of here. Let's go through this. So there's the house. There's the back porch. You can see it has a nice porch. The roof lines look good. The backyard it has a two-car garage and a carport and a shed. You can see the shed viewing back towards the house, the brick, all brick, nice big back wraparound deck here. And then, of course, you have, you see a little bit on the angle. There's the view of downtown. These are uh, called the scenic heights, very desirable area. Here's the benefit, huge lot. You can do a walkout here or you add that basement square footage. So you'd end up with 2,400 square feet and then you could pop the top if you wanted to, but I'm just recommending we do the basement. End up with 350 to 400,000 if you did a nice um, remodel. So let's go into the next one here. Now here's your comparables. So this one's under contract. Um, 3,000 square feet, just under 3,000 square feet. Um, here's the kicker, though. It's it, you know it's got ceramic tile, it's got wood windows, it's got carp, <laughs> it's got landscaping, um, kind of conventional uh, or kind of a more modern uh, Santa Fe look there. Um, so nice landscaping has the view, not the view of downtown, but it has a view of the mountains. So somewhat comparable, and then decks. Well, you can t tell here it's dated, really dated kitchen, but not too bad, right? So this one sold for uh, 458000 is under contract. Uh, let's go to the next one. So really kind of bracketing that value. Here's the high end. I put this in here so you can see the high end. It was built in 1991, I believe, 565000 it's in the scenic area too. This is all real close. This is uh, one of your better comps. It's a lot. It's uh, it's a ranch home again. The difference is this one is about the lot is only six thousand square feet versus the half acre lot that our subject property is on. Uh, take a look at the finishes real quick. So you have a nice back deck. You have some decent landscaping, but a smaller lot. Just a real basic house. Uh, the interior, you can still see oak cabinets, a white fridge, and black uh, Frigidaire stove and overhead microwave. Um, tile in here, ceramic, blue, uh, very, very dated, okay, but clean. And that sold for, like I said, $306,000, uh, but the lot, the, the lot alone is worth you know, $30,000, $40,000 less. So really bracketing that value there again at about three fifty dollars to 400000 depending on how you do it. This one listed for three seventy, sold for three seventy five. Now it's not brick. The square footage is a same finished square footage as what ours will be, uh, but a larger, but not a two story, not the decks, but you know our exterior is a lot nicer, a lot more appealing to have brick. Doesn't have the views of downtown. You can see the cabinets are extremely dated. All that wood is very, very dated. So. Not a bad design, and then uh, you know a little bit of updates in the bathrooms here. A really dated fridge. The floors have been redone, but just all white, so very basic on your walls. A little beige in the bedroom there. Hollow core doors, which is real dated. So this is what we call a half hab. So this half hab, it sold for three hundred seventy-five thousand. So there again, but it's a little bigger. So, but the uh, lot is a lot smaller. Let me just show you the lot size real quick. So the lot is 13,000 versus the 18,000. So a little bit lesser lot. It's in the scenic heights, but doesn't have the same view, a little bit lesser of a view. And then there's this one. This is the new product. What's it selling for? It listed for 384, sold for 400,000, 1,900 finished square feet, but is a little bigger. So I'll give you an idea of what's going on there. It, it doesn't quite have the views, and it has a smaller, the lot size is 1,900 square feet. So I'll give you an idea of that. Now let's go back. So that's that's what we have. So four hundred thousand is a high end. Now this one sold for four fifty eight, and it wasn't rehab, but it had a big lot, and the house was big. So real solid valuation, three hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand if it was done right with a walkout. I hope this has been uh, been educational, and we'll see you on the next one.